so things that things have calmed down a little bit but they're about to get antsy all right they're about to get dark oh and luckily it's nighttime so now we got a double entendre can't can't be safe going outside in the dark can't you can be now safe inside from the dark you can now because the batman <gasps> is on the loose oh boy and he he's he's gonna punch you and stuff yeah that's what he did in the last trailer anyway ferocity we also had a tiktok in which batman uh that was that was a different batman that was that was a different that was a wholly (laughs) different batman this is robert patterson batman oh i finally get to see any of this you ain't seen nothing about this no, you see I, the last trailer? No, I actually was completely blind to like any of all of the new Batman. I, oh, I, this, I, is, this is just the second trailer. This is the second thing that came out. All I knew is that Rob Pattinson was going to be in it. Yeah, no, he's Batman. I say give it a shot because we've gone long enough without any, you know, Christian Bale Batman. We're not getting any further with that. So you just, you just outright skipped over Ben Affleck, huh? Yeah, I just realized that now. Wow, you just... He, he didn't wow. Get, he didn't get his own spinoff ones, and uh, I, I think the studios didn't really care enough to give him one. No, they they have falling outs, and now they, he's getting recast. You, you think that... Never mind. Never. You just skipped over Ben Affleck like that? You just excommunicated him? Yep. From just, his role as Batman? Just like J-Lo did. Wow. We're going to watch this trailer because you being disrespectful. And I will not allow this in our household. I will not retake any of those statements. Hey, you ain't got to retake nothing. Well, you you, you, you going to shot with this blasphemy and disrespect. Because you want to know what? Ben Affleck was Batman. Why ain't you been Batman? The hero this city needs. I really doubt that I am the hero this city needs. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. We gonna get to this trailer. Dang, that 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 made me feel sad. <laughs> Everybody out here wanted to be Batman, and you just over here like, nah. 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 <laughs> I can barely put on hockey pads. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you wouldn't be out there like they were in uh, the the Dark Knight. Dark Knight uh, Returns or the Dark Knight Rises in Pittsburgh. I don't want to be in any any city where all that shit is going down. If if I heard of any of the superior villains that they had and what previous disaster they just had in Gotham. Before I moved there, I would probably take back my decision to move there for school or anything else. Take the hit on that that rental agreement and just say, you know what? It's better. It's better. But like housing in Gotham got to be like dumb low. If if they had like four hundred dollars a month apartment. I, would, I, you I, in, <laughs> see, would you stay in Would you stay in Gotham? See, once you put a number to it, it's like weighing the options. But then I have to say, well, I mean, is Scarecrow going to move into my neighborhood at some point? In you time? don't know. But you probably make like 20 an hour and a $400 apartment. Because, I mean, they, 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 you, you got to you gotta work during those conditions, too. So they got to incentively pay you. That kind of duress might not be worth it. And their housing market has to be super low because all the stuff is always happening. You well, could hot, never, hot you could never raise low. that. No. <laughs> That's another thing. If you ask from any like rental agreement, what was the history of this place? Could you imagine all of the crazy stuff that they would be telling you? Oh yeah, yeah. The penguin uh, actually burst through the 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 um support beams over here and uh uh we have we once caught a glimpse of batman fighting bane on the rooftop 
So, you know, the market's low. Yeah. But, I mean, we got a skylight now. That's 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 a, where Catwoman jumped through. That, that is a that is a comedy scene that does not exist of somebody really trying to sell any apartment in Gotham of telling people this absolutely is a buyer's market. So you, so you're not gonna explain all of that strange goo that's like in the basement when we ask to like go see it like oh, oh that's, that's fear toxin don't go down there that, that, don't worry about it like it it stays settled down below what the heck is that that's a joker fish <laughs> <laughs> you want <laughs> that's a novelty item right there we we legally can't get rid of it because endangered <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's let's check out this trailer <laughs> Alright y'all, here we go. The Batman. The Batman. With Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz. Who's going to be playing Catwoman. Is that Lenny Kravitz's daughter? Alright, here we go. Oh. So is this the the Riddler? The alarm. Yeah. Yep. That's him. Gotta leave the that questionable boy part. himself. As it should be. If you gonna have all this money. Oh. See, Zoe looks good at Catwoman. I like the penguin. Messed up. That's a cool shot, I guess. March fourth, twenty twenty two. How do I get rid of these these things? Little thumbnails. Yes. I don't. I don't think I can. Answer. I don't think it works. For, oh, this is in a Windows mode. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can. At least I don't remember how to do it. We'll figure anyway. it out for another time for technical difficulties, people. Uh, technical difficulties. You can just you can just talk. <laughs> so, Batman is gonna change forever. Ever since Christopher Nolan, of where he's gotta have that fake gruff voice but I will say this the Christopher Nolan Batman was the first one that could actually like turn his head and didn't like look wherever his chest was for a lot of people 
there's a lot of fluid movement, like, with the bat suit in this. But you gotta help me out here. Uh, is Batman killing people now? Um, we don't know. Cause like I've I've well I've seen a little more than what you've seen, but I've seen what you've seen. You gotta stop asking me questions about stuff that I don't know nothing you about. You can't answer. Yeah, <laughs> not until March. But I don't know. I'll I'll check it out definitely. I mean. It's another iteration of Batman, but it's the one thing of where, like, I want to see where they take it, what they do with it. And it's been a while since we've had Catwoman. We haven't seen a penguin in forever, and... What do you mean? I mean, sure, you have the show Gotham. Yep. But... Exactly. Not everybody watched Gotham. But we still had it. Yeah. We had all those characters up in there, even in, in, when they didn't make sense. Riddler. Riddler is in Gotham. Oh. Penguin is in Gotham. Catwoman is in Gotham from episode one. Yes, which I still have an issue with. There's a lot of issues with Gotham. But they're all there. They're all there. Including in certain parts. The rent is just too damn high for it to make sense. <laughs> A lot of stuff goes down, but I don't know. I like visually what I'm seeing, but I don't like his cowl. I like his suit, but I don't like his cowl. It don't. It doesn't look like it fits him right, or it doesn't look. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't fit the motif of the suit to me, where the suit looks a little more techy. Yeah. But the cowl just looks a little more like rubber. No, it don't look like rubber. It looks like uh, like Kevlar on metal is what it looks like to me. But it doesn't fully move like that. But that there is like Kevlar weave that you could make into a cow. No, I'm not. I'm I'm not saying that it is Kevlar. I'm saying that it the disparity of the cow looks like Kevlar to what metal looks like. And then saying that those two inherently look good together when they don't. But if this is a movie also that is going after the Riddler, I'm wondering, is this going to be a dedicated action movie and the Riddler's behind it? Now that's or the, is this a that's mystery the, that's thriller? That's the thing that I'm not liking about what I see here. Because with both of the trailers that they've shown, it's been more action-oriented. But... The premise that they talked about for the movie was that it was supposed to be a more detective style Batman to where you were really going to get more of his the world's greatest detective like motif I'm in not, the story. I'm not seeing and I'm not this. Se- I've never seen that in any of it. Like, and that's the reason why the Riddler is the main villain. Because it's supposed to be like a battle of like wits and like him using his ingenuity and stuff like that. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing him running around beating up people and chasing people in the the Batmobile. the the, uh, the muscle car. Yeah. Because that ain't a Batmobile. That is a Dodge Charger that he put on some some Hummer wheels <laughs> and then said, I got a car now. Which is fine. If you want to do a low-tech Batmobile, I don't care. But let's not pretend that we ain't got better Batmobiles. It don't got to be the Nolan Batmobile, which was a tank. Yep. But I don't know if it's got to be this low budget to where you got some monster truck wheels and a Dodge Charger and you just said, stick them bitches together. I mean, it works. But it's not. It, it's no, not, it doesn't work. It looks goofy as heck. It's not good to solve a crime in. It's it's it doesn't look like it's I don't know how to describe how this Batmobile looks other than it it looks jarring <laughs> like if I saw somebody chasing a car down the street in this I would be like why whereas the Batmobiles always had like functional purpose 
to their design other than like maybe uh maybe the ones that were straight like like bat fins but even then like they had like a motif to them like they let yeah. you know that it was batman's this feels like somebody had way too much time on their hands and say i don't know what it is about this cow i don't like this cow maybe it's the shape of uh Robert Pattinson's head, if it, it looks too organic to the shape. Well, you were saying that it looks like it doesn't fit. No, I I don't think that it fits the the suit. This is a bad picture because they're all covered in dirt. Well, the whole movie is going to be covered in dirt and rain. It never seems to stop raining and be dirty wherever they are, because Gotham doesn't have like a hell's kitchen, just crap and then lavish. Like, see, here, it don't. This does not look. It just don't do. They they, they don't look good together to me. Well, they got time. Just CGI. No, I think, I think actually what it is is that the helmet looks too organic. Like, in this scene right here, when he... I, uh, I also, look, look, Batman's not selling me, y'all. Batman's not selling me. And I'm not trying to hate on Robert Pattinson, but, like, I need to see his Bruce Wayne immediately. <laughs> I think that's going to be, like, the last trailer. I need to see more of him as Bruce Wayne, because I'm not... I need to get more of the emotional connection to him as a human being because I'm not seeing him as Batman. He feels like somebody that I would expect to see in cosplay. But, okay, so what is considered to be the mask that he wears? Is Batman the mask that he wears or is Bruce Wayne, the millionaire playboy, the mask that he wears? Yeah, you over here trying to get philosophical with it. I'm I'm talking about straight what I can see in this movie. Oh, well, that's what I already just said. You're not going to see Bruce Wayne for a bit. I don't care what happens to me. Because too many people know the fact. Like, see, this, this mask don't look right. It's I, I think maybe it's too round. Do you think it has the problem that... Maybe it's the eyes, too. I don't know. Well, no, it's it's held off really tight with his ears. And do you remember that old, like, 1990s Captain America where they literally put fake ears on the outside of the cap? And it, it just looked so much worse because of it? It's kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't. If it's hard to pull off the mask. Like, see, this isn't... I don't know. I don't feel like it's shaped well on his head to where he looks intimidating. It just looks like it's form-fitting, and that's that's weird. Maybe we're going to get different bat suits throughout it because either we jump into Bruce Wayne is already Batman he, in it, he, or he we is, have an origin story. He is again. going to have this. It, he is going to have one, maybe two suits in this movie. And I, I, I guarantee you that it is not going to be a drastic change. <laughs> anyway, the Batman. We'll check it out when it gets here. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. We're done here. We're, pick it up. We're done. <laughs> no, we have more to watch. Calvin? <laughs>